And today we're going to be doing an aortic valve replacement. This patient has uh, what is uh, known as critical aortic stenosis. And in this condition, uh, the aortic valve becomes very calcified and only opens um, about the size of a pencil eraser. Normally the aortic valve uh, opens up to uh, a diameter that's approximately the size of a quarter to a half dollar. This, uh, over the years, puts enormous stress on the heart muscle and allows it to uh, hypertrophy. In other words, the heart muscle enlarges. Uh, in this condition, um, patients go for years uh, with no symptoms, uh, and uh, subsequently they start to get fatigued. And in general, there are three main symptoms that patients with aortic stenosis have, and those are uh, shortness of breath, uh, often with exertion, chest pain, and dizziness or syncopal spells. And until patients start to become symptomatic, uh, they can live relatively normal lives and uh, may go for five or even 10 years um, with progressive aortic stenosis and, and not have any major problems. Once patients start to have symptoms, they generally will not live more than one to three years unless the aortic valve is replaced. And, and so even subtle symptoms such as mild shortness of breath uh, or uh, fatigue or, or chest discomfort um, are signs that the patient has reached a point where uh, aortic valve replacement is critical. And uh, in this patient, uh, we're planning to put a tissue valve uh, in, which is, uh, it can be a pig valve or a valve made out of a cow's pericardium, a bovine pericardium. And uh, this valve is expected to uh, last at least 10 to 15 years, and in uh, older patients, it will generally last the rest of the patient's life. Uh, another valve choice would be a mechanical valve, but these valves um, require uh, Coumadin anticoagulation um, indefinitely, which is a blood thinner. And uh, so more and more the trend is to uh, use tissue valves in patients that are over 60 to 65 years old. Um, this uh, operation is very gratifying for patients once they are uh, recovered from the surgery, which usually uh, is uh, within six to eight weeks for routine activity and four to six months for uh, heavy exertion. Uh, they feel better, they have more stamina, and can generally resume all normal activities and, and can even resume vigorous physical activity. Um, as our um, um, previous patient uh, um, uh, will attest that uh, patients can, can uh, run marathons and, and do uh, various other uh, things that they would never have dreamed of doing before uh, their valve was replaced.